Good morning from Panama City. We are here with Heritage Excursions with Captain Josh on his brand new 39 Beautiful Contender. And we have my entire family here. This is our second year coming back with Captain Josh. And Trip. And we got mate Trip over there. We got Vic and we got the whole family. You guys ready? Oh yeah. Stoked. Been waiting for this trip. I, I just thought about it today. I hadn't fished with these two guys in a long time. We've been shrimping and diving, but I haven't fished with them. So I'm looking forward to really fishing with Brooke and Victor today and enjoying it. So we're gonna go pick up some bait and then run offshore. So wish us luck. Let's see what we can catch. stop right here and God willing and the creek don't rise we're gonna catch our snappers right here then we're gonna move off I got a couple more wrecks in the area we're gonna fish try and catch some gag groupers hopefully that pans out as well but either way after that we're gonna shoot it on offshore a little bit deeper water a few miles south of here and do some scamp fishing all right guys so we made our run out here and everyone either has a cigar minnow or a pinfish on, and everyone's dropping down. Victor is on already. I'll <laughs> be ready. Holy smokes! Did he? Oh man! I'm telling you, I got a big fish here. Woo! Yeah. Put it in your mom, head. put it in your hip. I just... Come on, mom. <laughs> go, mom, go. Oh, and Jed's on too! Let go! Dad's on, Jed's on, Mom's oh, on. Come on, God. Fish, you're the only person not on! I'm getting a bite. You're getting a bite? Holy smokes! Go, Mom, go! Wow! This one's about to be down too. Oh, look at that thing! Holy <laughs> moly! What do you think? Maybe. Come on! I think we got twins there, Oh, guys. come on! <laughs> on the way down! Holy mackerel! Fisher's on now! Yeah, it's better to fish with bait, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Alright, there's my mom, a snapper. Beauties already. A giant. My dad just caught a second one. Woo! We're gonna we're let this go, isn't that crazy? This one? You're gonna <laughs> let this one go? Yeah. Yep, we're gonna try to find some bigger ones than that. Really? Come over to rail with All right, so everyone has got a fish to the boat so far. Unfortunately, Jed got his fish sharked, but we already let go two of them because we're hoping to catch even bigger ones than what you guys have already seen. But we have, I think, three keepers in the boat already. That's mom's? Yeah. Wow, that's a big one, huh? <laughs> go, mom, go. <laughs> Good job, Mom. Great fish, Ma. Go, Fisher, go. You got yours in the boat, Fish? Yeah, look at it. Oh, oh nice. Good, job. Good one. Yeah, these snappers fight so good. There you go, Jeff. Oh man, what a fish. Help the drift. Go, Mom, go. You got it. There you go. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. You're getting your workout in today, Mom. Oh, my gosh. There you go. <laughs> Good thing we've all been in the gym. These things fight. Look at that. Look at that. Turn the handle, Randall. Every one has been good. Keep reeling. Whoa, Benito. 
Canada. Meat missiles, boys. <laughs> oh, Jack. Okay. Scar <laughs> just hooked in the tail. Won't come above that line there and under that line there. Holds them on there a lot better. Right back out. Down to the depths. Well, I've been filming for only 15 minutes and everyone has caught multiple fish already. First spot of the day has been absolutely insane. In a little break now. I had a shark and he took a... Uh my rig <laughs> but yes i'm taking a nice little break <laughs> i'm out of bread all right so we just poured in the red snapper into the cooler and then trip poured in some salt water so there's a nice salt water slushy in there so you get a really cold temp when you add that salt water into the ice really cools down the fish Family vacation with with my grown kids. How lucky am I? I told Deb on the way out here um, how successful and lucky we are to experience such an amazing thing, to have our whole family out here on this fishing trip. You know, my, my grown kids still fishing with their mom and dad. Um, Brooke's not in the, in the shot here because she's holding the camera, but you know, it's because of her and you guys watching YouTube that made the whole thing possible. So, thank you. It is my turn now, Vic's behind the camera. Something that's always really cool that Josh does is he puts Plasti Dip on your weights because no matter how good you are, you always kind of dang your weight on the boat a little bit. Super smart, but of course you obviously still don't want to try to do that. Let me show you my bait. Got a big old cigar minnow. Hook just above the tail right there. That's a nice hefty one. And we're going to the bottom. So we're in 180 feet. We're dropping down. Let's see who gets a fish first. Oh yeah, bro. Alright, so I am hooked up to my first fish. These red snapper, they fall like quite real well. Nice one. Beeliner. Oh no, red snapper. A little baby! <laughs> so this is actually a keeper. They have to be what, 16 inches to keep? Yep. They have to be 16 inches to keep. He's clearly a keeper, but we're letting the small ones go and just keeping the big ones today. Hey. These fish release really well. They go straight to the bottom the second you unhook them. First one down, first one with the fish. There you go, Jed. Oh, Jed's got a good one, bro. Yeah, yeah he's pinned to the rail. Oh, Let's go, boy. Hold on, Jed. That's just a burger fish. Oh, baby. That's my favorite fish right there. <laughs> you bet Look at him, oh, close. It's not just a trigger he's fish. He's barely hooked. Look at that. That's a big boy. That's a good size trigger right there. They're closed, right? Yep, they just closed. So triggerfish are closed. However, these are delicious eating, but I'm gonna just show you guys real quick why it's called a triggerfish. This top horn up here, if you try to push it, it doesn't go down. But if you pull this thingy right here, then that horn goes down. But if you try to push it with all your might, it, it ain't going down unless you pull the little trigger. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's get this baby unhooked and let it go. See ya. So I'm going down with half a mackerel here. Alright, hit bottom. Hold on. It's so funny watching all you guys like with the anticipation in your faces and just holding the rods like we're, I don't know. <laughs> About to get ripped a, in by a train. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> they know that might happen. Everyone's just very concentrated. Holy smokes, Brian is silent. Brian, you gotta get him off the bottom. Don't let him get you in the rig. That is a big fish right there. Real down on the game Good job. Good job, Brian. That was 
was just getting ready to make fun of the way he puts his foot on the rail, too. <laughs> You can make fun of me, but you can't do it because you're you're too short, man. I was about to say, a lot of people <laughs> probably don't realize Brian's a big fellow. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, baby. Yeah. <laughs> crank off the bottom. I already got some yeah, cranks off the bottom. Look at that, baby. Nice Beauty. Beauty Fisher! Another red snapper. Gonna be my biggest one today. Pull his face off if you got it coming. Another. Here's my biggest red snapper of the day. My dad just brought in another big one. Fisher's hooked up in the front. Absolutely amazing fishing. These are such beautiful snapper, aren't they? So pretty. Gorgeous. And they fight like heck, man. Probably the best fighting snapper there is right here. Not a Cabrera, maybe. <laughs> Both. But they fight really well, and they are a ton of fun to catch. And boy, do they taste delicious. The brothers are both hooked up right here. Fisher in the front, Jed in the back. Woo! Well, we found the reds, huh? That's a big one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, okay. Good catch, Fisher. Yeah. Wow, that's a good one, Fisher. That one, fought, that one fought like crazy. Wow, that's a dinosaur. Oh, man, first grouper of the trail. Oh, nice. You gonna make it? He should. What do you got? I don't know. Could be a, could be a grouper. Red. Nice job. It's a keeper red. There's my chofer right there. Hate to take it away from him. But my first red grouper of the trip. Nice one. Oh yeah, they're fun. This fishery is amazing. Absolutely amazing. like that. They don't waste any time getting your re rehooked or re-rigged or rebaited. It happens quick. Fisher is on. How's it feel, fish? It feels good. It's fun to catch fish when you don't have to sit around all day. We just drop the baits down and you start getting bites. It's pretty pretty amazing. Basically what we're doing all day is moving from spot to spot. Josh has a ton of spots out here and he kind of knows what we're going to catch on each one. There's a lot of red snapper out here so we're still kind of getting a few random red snappers as we go along but we're mostly trying to catch scamp grouper at this spot now. I hope so. Get some species in the boat. Oh, Brock. Get it, girl. <laughs> okay, another scamp for Jed. Oh, I got a good one. You got a scamps. Oh, red. No, I got a red. Got a good one. Good little red. Big keepers. 
I hope he's a keeper. We're about to go find him. He's an inch too short. You're dead uh, on right at 19. 19 inches. Oh, Brookster. You have a good one, Brook. What do you think it is? A big fish. I think it's a big fish. Oh, oh my yes. gosh, it's a big red. Just before this one was a red grouper that was too small to keep. They have to be 20 inches. That last one was 19, but this is a nice, good size one. Beautiful fish. I always love their eyes. They're like green. Can you see them on the camera? Oh, yeah. They got these really cool green eyes. Check out inside their mouth. They are a cool fish, huh? And then this fish was fighting much harder than a small scamp, and I was like, oh, did I get another red, red snapper? But nice beautiful red grouper we're having a great time we're catching scamp grouper red grouper tons of red snapper lots of great eats today come on brother please don't get eaten you took a whole week off from the gym you gotta put in the work now yeah oh red a beauty uh oh oh got another line yeah, someone's leader in his mouth. You see that? He's got another leader in his mouth. See ya. What do we call the pose? The Brian Chris? The BC? The BC stance? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, oh, a little red. Oh. Had some public subs for lunch, and now we're back at it. Fisher and my mom both got a scamp. My dad just caught a red grouper, but I think he was too small to keep. I am on my way to the bottom. Oh, baby. Oh, Jed. This fish really wants to dance, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Pulling a good bit of drag. Fighting the good fight. <laughs> you too, bro? <laughs> red snapper. What a good one. Damn, son. That one will keep proper. Yep. I just caught this red grouper. I'm gonna measure it, but it's probably a keeper. I just caught this stud red snapper, but we already have our limit of red snapper. So even though it's a giant, it's going back. Let someone else catch it. All right, so we got another keeper red grouper in the boat. You guys can't hear it, but they do this drumming and I can feel it like a vibration in my hands. Vibrating a little. It's really hard to see, but he's drumming. Beauty, it's gonna be delicious. Come on, bro. This is your hero fish. This is the biggest thing I've had all day. Whoa! I don't think it's a shark. No, it's not. It's a fish. It's a beast. Ooh. It's a big grouper. This is a good fish. It's a long way down there, huh? Oh, yeah. How deep are we in now? 211 feet. You gave up? Uh, I'm tired. I caught, I caught enough fish. I'm tired. Josh, the verdict. Just, Has he caught enough fish? Hey, he's a grown man. He can do whatever he wants. <laughs> That's Ryan's all right fish. by me. He put a hurting on him today. Coming up, Frank. Coming up. There he is. What is it? Holy oh smoke. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's got it again. Let's go, guys. Oh, baby. Oh, nice. Look at that. Sorry for taking the bite. No, you're fine. Oh yeah, I knew that was the biggest thing I've hooked all day. And I knew it was a grouper. Woo! 
Our third grouper species of the day. That's a nice one. Definitely a pretty gag. Ha ha! First gag in the boat. This is our third grouper species today. So we've caught red grouper, scamp grouper, and this is a gag grouper. And a nice one at that. This is maybe my biggest gag grouper I've ever caught. It fought good. Heck yeah, he did. He's a stuff. Woo! Just a one mean fish, bro. I'm on the grouper today. I didn't get any giant red snapper today, but I've been catching the grouper up. Got our first gag in the boat. Fish, are you gonna beat your sister here? I don't know, that was a big fish. But this one seems pretty big too. Yeah. I hope we get to the boat. Oh, is that a, oh man. Big old red. Another big red snapper. All right, another good size snapper in the boat. It's a shame we can't take more of these, but uh, such a beautiful fish. He's going home. And he's going home. Not to our home, his home. <laughs> Yeah. Nice scam, huh? It was fun to catch. Um, this might be my last one from the for the day because I'm getting tired. <laughs> it was really fun. Excellent day of fishing. Awesome. We've got a lot of good fish to bring home and eat. Yep. Can't wait. Good job. Thanks, Brett. All right, guys. Well, we are back at the dock. Trip is taking out all the fish, putting them in baskets. We'll show you the final amount of fish in a little bit, but we had an absolutely amazing day out here. We caught our limited red snapper, tons of grouper, nonstop action. We ended the day with a couple really big black fin tunas. We had a ton of fun. If you guys are interested in coming out here to fish with Captain Josh, I'll have all his information linked down in the description. I think this is Victor and I's fourth trip coming here, right? Fourth trip, third year, but fourth trip with Josh, yep. And then my whole family's second time coming here and it's always an absolutely amazing time. Josh always puts us on great fish. We have a ton of fun and he's got an amazing boat. We got a boat full of fish, baby. Look at this. I reeled in fish till I couldn't reel them in no more. <laughs> that's and that's that. Ultimately spoiled when it comes to fishing and eating fish with everybody here, so can't beat it. Lucky guy. Mom, how was your day? My day was fantastic. I'm not that good of a fisherwoman, but I caught my share of beautiful fish today. I was with my family. Um, the captain and mate are awesome. Um, just fantastic. Love it. Two thumbs up. I think she is a heck of a fisherwoman. I don't know what she's talking yeah, about. She, she didn't want to take a break at all today. I think she took a break and she was like, I need a break. And it was like 30 seconds long. She fished all day long. She fished hard and she caught a lot of fish. So from where I stand right here, I look up for dead fish right there all day long. And every time I looked out this windshield, all I saw was this, this dead pole bending. <laughs> it was just every time. Good job, Mom. It's, it's hard to, put words to a trip like this because I don't fish that often so for someone like me to go on a trip like this and somehow everyone on the boat can help you put big the biggest fish you've caught all year and so many of them and still allow you to feel as comfortable as you do I mean to be able to fish like that high class that high level of fishing but still feel like you're not you're not nervous you know everyone knows what they're doing and they're not putting this crazy pressure on you it's really an experience that's probably it's probably hard to find anywhere else so i i was i was really lucky to be able to join in on this trip well i had an absolutely incredible day today with my whole family we caught a ton of fish we're gonna have some great family dinners when we get home he also does all these other excursions. If you're not interested in fishing, but you want to come to Panama City, I'll let him tell you guys about that. So we've got three other boats. We can accommodate parties up to 18 people. We do dolphin tours, snorkeling. You can go out to the Barrier Island, Shell Island. There's a standing population of deer. There's no telling what you might find. Explore that. You can 
even swim with the dolphins. They're wild animals, they're not in a pen. Go out there, they'll find them for you, put you in the water, you get an opportunity to swim with them. There's a lot more to it than just fishing. We do everything eco tour. Again, parties up to 18 people. Give us a call, we'd love the opportunity to take you. All right guys, so we are home at the filet table from Panama City. It is time to filet up this red snapper. And Victor actually gutted the fish before we brought them home. We had the fish in the cooler for a couple days because we drove all the way to Panama City. It's like a nine hour drive for us. So it's always nice to gut your fish if you aren't going to filet it immediately. So I'm going to use this Dexter Outdoors seven inch Dextream knife. And what's unique about this knife is it has a dual edge. So this side you have your regular blade and then this side you have a serrated blade. So you don't have to switch between two different knives. And for instance, this red snapper is a perfect fish for this knife because it has these giant scales. So I'm gonna use that serrated part of the knife to just cut through those scales. So I don't have to worry about dulling my regular blade. I use the back side to go through those scales. So spin them towards me. And I'm gonna use that same serrated side to just make my first initial cut through those scales. So I'm keeping my regular filet blade nice and sharp. Once I did that, I'm actually gonna go back to my regular blade, lift my finger up and just go filet like I normally would now with the regular side of the blade, just separating the flesh from the bones. Get over this rib cage, get through those pin bones. our filet just like that okay so just gonna push this guy over here using the same knife I'm gonna skin this fish as well just got to make sure that you're aware of the fact that there's a serrated knife because I like to follow my left hand behind the knife so just make sure you don't accidentally get that serrated edge bumping into your fingers and there we go like that. I'm going to cut out the pin bones and I'll have a link in the description to this knife if you guys are interested on Dexter or you could just go to DexterOutdoors.com and there's the pin bones and voila! So we're going to finish filleting up the rest of these fish and then I will see you guys in the kitchen. Look at this baby triple tail right there. It's like orange almost. It's so beautiful. I'm going to try to feed it a little piece of grouper. Oh, he's Oh, it was too big for him. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. We just got finished with the gym and it is time to cook up some red snapper for dinner. I'm going to go to our old school pan recipe that you guys have seen if you are a long time subscriber. We haven't done this in a long time, so we are bringing it back for a nice, simple, and extremely delicious recipe. So we have our red snappers in our little tiny cast iron skillets here. We have some plum tomatoes and some onion chopped up into all the pans thing that's cool about these pans is everyone gets their own it stays hot for a long time and it's just kind of a fun way to eat fish so I'm gonna just season one of these pans to show you what I'm gonna do but I'm gonna obviously season the rest all off camera so we got some salt first some pepper and to start out I did some olive oil at the bottom of the pan as well this is garlic powder the next thing I'm gonna do is this unoaked Chardonnay. I like cooking with wine, but I always want to use an unoaked um, white wine because I've done oaked wine before and it's just not really good. You don't have to necessarily get one that says unoaked, but get one that, at least in the ingredients, doesn't include oak. I don't know, maybe it was the wine that we had, but just that oak flavor in fish doesn't really go so well. Now we're gonna do some Parmesan cheese for all my fish and cheese haters out there. This one's for you. <laughs> Seasoned breadcrumbs. Just a little bit of this on top. And this is, like I said, we've been doing this recipe for a long time. This was like our very first fish recipe that 
my family ever really did together, so it's pretty nostalgic, not gonna lie. Seems pretty appropriate. The whole family got to go fishing together, and I'm bringing it back to an old school recipe. So now I'm gonna do the same, oop, one last thing, and then finish it off with some paprika. And there we go. This one is ready for the grill. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of them. Okay. So of course the day we want to grill, it's raining outside, so we moved the grill under the roof. And it's time to put our pans on. And I did add a little butter off camera. So there's a little bit of butter on there as well. All right, let's do a little check. Oh yeah, baby, we're looking good. Those are back up. All right, another OG side dish is some rice pilaf. So that's what we got over here. And then for dessert, we're going to do some grilled pineapple. And to make it just a little bit better for dessert, we're gonna add some butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. So don't need a lot. If you've ever had grilled pineapple, it is delicious on, on its own. But if you want to kick it up a notch, do this, because you're going to love it. Okay, next is brown sugar. This is a sugar replacement. Zero calories. Zero calories, I'm all for it. And lastly, a little cinnamon. This is my left hand, so don't judge me. Oops. <laughs> okay, and these are going to go on the grill as well. All right, so it's been about five more minutes since the last time we checked. So this is the part where you are going to have to resist the urge to finish the bottle of wine because you're gonna want it. For the ones that are starting to dry up a little bit, add a little bit more wine to keep letting them cook because the wine's gonna cook out pretty fast. Gonna add a little more wine to this one because almost all the liquid is cooked out of that one. That one, maybe a little on this one. Even this one a little bit. After you eat the fish in these pans, you're gonna wanna put the rice peel off into your skillet and mix in with all that juice. So if you let all your juice cook out, you're gonna be sad when it comes to that point. So don't drink the wine, use it so you can have some more juice in your pan. So the cool thing about these pans is you get this little oven mitt to go on the handle and then you can grab it right off and then they come with these nice little wooden boards just like you're at Chili's and fajitas or something and then you carry it in just like this. I'll have a link in the description to these pans because they are amazing. See so you bring them inside and they're still sizzling. I feel like this is my recipe. This is how I started cooking fish for everyone in this house. I, I don't know how many of these things we got now. We got as many as will fit on our grill. It's always nice to bring these skillets out. It keeps your food nice and hot and it's a good, good easy way to cook fish on the grill. This red snapper is just delicious this way. So I would say this is a classic Chris family recipe. Like my dad said, we've been eating fish like this for a long time and you can't go wrong with it. It's simple, but elegant it's, it's delicious i mean i'm never upset to see the cast iron skillets come out so it's been a while so it's, it's nice to see you breaking them out again thank you like everyone said this is the the traditional crisp way to cook fish i bet brooks first catch and cook happened on one of these and um it's amazing it to, it's amazing to see where things have progressed since then but a great snapper and to a, a great fishing trip so Good job, Brooke. Thank you. We're so lucky to have went on that fishing trip and caught all that fresh, delicious Panama City fish. It's so good. I love this recipe. Like the kids say, it never gets old. Just love it. Thank you, Brooke. Thank you. I don't have to tell you guys the food is good because, I mean, it speaks for itself. I've been eating this recipe with the Chris for 10 years now and it's still a staple in the household. But I was just thinking about how lucky we are. We ate Scamp Grouper yesterday. Red snapper today. We had yellowfin tuna a week ago. We are always eating good. And 
I know Brooke's super appreciative. This life that we get to live is all because of you guys, so I want to thank all the Brooke Chris fans that watch her videos because we get to enjoy meals like this because of you guys. If you could only smell this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. And if you've never tried this before, you have to give this a try. It is so, so delicious.